Deep inside Windows, there are hidden registry settings that affect your gaming performance, and most gamers don't even know they exist. In this video, I'll show you five powerful registry tweaks that boost FPS, fix lag, and make your games run smoother on both Windows 10 and 11. These are advanced settings most people ignore, but they can make a real difference in gaming performance. Let's jump. Before we go hands-on, you can grab my pre-configured registry tweaks pack from the official website. Just head over to my official website at uptopacks.com. The link is available in the description. Once you're on the site, navigate to the FPS boost section and look for the post that shares the same title and thumbnail as this video. It's easy to recognize. Scroll down just a bit and you'll find a direct download link ready for you to grab with no hassle. Need to roll anything back? No worries. The revert folder contains default values, ready to undo every tweak with a single click. There's also a text file listing all registry paths in case you prefer manual tweaks or just want to verify the changes yourself. Super simple, super flexible. So go ahead and grab it if you want to save time. Tweak one, prevent GPU driver timeouts. Sometimes your GPU might briefly pause or struggle to respond during high load situations like intense gunfights or open world rendering. By default, Windows has a safety system called TDR timeout detection and recovery that steps in and resets your graphics driver if the GPU doesn't respond quickly. Sounds helpful, right? But in gaming, this often leads to black screens, crashes, or annoying micro stutters when nothing is actually wrong. By increasing this timeout value, you give your GPU a longer window to catch up before Windows decides to interrupt it. This reduces random stutters and improves stability during heavy gameplay, especially when your VRAM or shaders are under stress. To apply this, copy the first registry path from the video description and paste it into the registry editor's top address bar. Press enter to go directly to the location. On the right hand side, look for a value named TDR delay. If it doesn't exist, right click on an empty space, select new DWR 32 bit value and name it exactly TDR delay. Then double click on it, set the value to 10 and make sure the base is set to decimal. Click OK to save. This tweak helps prevent driver crashes during intensive GPU loads. Games like Cyberpunk 2077, Starfield, or large modded titles benefit especially from this if you're using a mid-tier GPU. You'll notice fewer screen freezes and a more stable overall experience, especially when alter tabbing or loading heavy scenes. Tweak 2. Disable D3D9X Rendering Mode This tweak targets older DirectX 9-based games and apps. Windows tries to use a compatibility extension called D3D9X that allows some advanced windowing features, but it can also cause performance bottlenecks, especially on modern drivers and newer GPUs. In games like CSGO or TF2, you might experience inconsistent FPS or unexpected latency issues because of how the system handles this outdated rendering layer. Disabling D3D9X forces the system to default back to traditional DirectX 9 or fall back to DX11 compatibility layers, both of which are usually faster and more stable on current systems. It's especially useful for players who are running competitive shooters or legacy titles where input lag is a deal breaker. Now, to apply it, copy the second registry path from the description and paste it in the top bar of registry editor. Press enter. In the right panel, look for a value named Disable D3D9X. If it's not there, right click anywhere in the right panel, choose New DWR 32 bit value and name it Disable D3D9X. Double click the new value and set it to 1 with the base as decimal, then press OK. This is a must for competitive gamers still playing older titles like CSGO, League of Legends, or Left 4 Dead 2. You'll notice tighter mouse input, more stable frame pacing, and fewer glitches or freezes caused by compatibility conflicts in full screen or windowed modes. Tweak 3. Force Modern Frame Rendering This tweak improves how Windows presents frames on screen, especially when you're gaming in borderless full screen or using multiple monitors. By default, 
older presentation methods can introduce additional latency, memory overhead, and frame inconsistency. Windows 10 and 11 support a newer method called Flip Model, which is much more efficient and offers a smoother visual output. When enabled, Flip Model reduces input delay, enhances frame pacing, and improves compatibility with features like G-Sync or FreeSync. Most modern games benefit from this, and it's a huge win for users on mid-tier systems or anyone trying to reduce subtle screen tearing and stutters. To enable this, copy the third registry path from the video description and paste it into the address bar of the registry editor. In the right panel, locate a value called Flip Model Override. If it doesn't appear, right click in the empty area, go to New Dip Dollward 32 bit value, and name it Flip Model Override. Then double click it, set its value to 1, and keep the base set to decimal. Hit OK to apply it. The Flip Model is especially beneficial for games like Apex Legends, Valorant, or any title where you're forced to run borderless. It helps achieve smoother rendering with less strain on the system and reduces the chance of tearing or frame jitter without needing VSync. Tweak 4. Allocate more system cache to the GPU. This tweak influences how Windows handles file system caching and memory prioritization. Normally, Windows tries to balance between disk caching and program performance, but for gaming, you want every bit of memory working toward real-time texture loading and GPU processes. By enabling large system cache, you're telling Windows to use a more aggressive memory management mode that improves data flow between RAM and your GPU. The result? faster texture streaming, reduced hitching in open world games, and smoother transitions in GPU heavy scenes. This is particularly helpful if you're using a system with 4GB or more of RAM and a dedicated graphics card. To apply this, copy the fourth registry path from the description and paste it into the registry editor. On the right side, find the value named large system cache. If it's missing, right click and create a new DW word, 32 bit value, then name it large system cache. Set the value to 1, choose decimal as the base, and hit OK. This tweak helps a lot in games like GTA 5, Far Cry 5, and Hogwarts Legacy, where background loading is frequent. It reduces streaming stutters, especially while driving or moving fast across the map, by giving priority to fast memory access. Tweak 5. Improve foreground app CPU time slice. Windows uses a scheduling algorithm that decides how long an application stays active on the CPU before switching to something else. This is fine for multitasking, but not ideal for gaming, where you want your game to stay front and center, getting as much uninterrupted CPU time as possible. By changing the quantum value, you're extending how long Windows allows a foreground task, like your game, to stay active on the CPU before switching context. This leads to better frame time stability and reduces the minor stutters caused by frequent task switching, especially useful on quad-core or lower CPUs where resources are tight. To activate this tweak, copy the fifth registry path from the description and paste it into the registry editor. In the right panel, look for a value named quantum. If it's not available, right click in the space, select new DWORD 32 bit value and name it quantum. Double click it, set the value to 10 and keep the base as decimal, then press OK. With this tweak, CPU hungry games like Warzone, Rust and PUBG will maintain smoother frame delivery and less hitching when your system is under stress. It's also useful if you're streaming, recording or running other apps in the background while gaming. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. 
After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. At this point, you've just transformed your system from a background-friendly multitasker into a focused, game-first machine. Your GPU gets more time to recover, your CPU becomes more game-aware, and your rendering path becomes leaner and faster, all without installing a single external tool. If this helped you out, hit that subscribe button for more performance-boosting tweaks like these. Peace out.